friends, it's Jessica. As of the day that this video is coming out, we are just a few days away from the beginning of the month of August. And if you've been here for a while, you know August is a pretty big deal here at our channel. It is when we host the Every Bit Counts Challenge. It's a food preservation challenge that we do both here and on Instagram. And many other people join us in this challenge where we try to preserve something every single day in the month of August. So if you're new here and are not sure what that's all about, this is the video for you. We're gonna talk about where this challenge came from, um, how you can participate, and what you need to do to prepare to be ready to begin the challenge here in a couple days. So I love August. These are probably some of my favorite videos to make here on my channel. You guys know I love food preservation, and so bringing you these videos that show what I'm preserving either from my garden or from bulk purchases that I get locally from other farmers is so much fun for me. And let me share with you first kind of the history of how this challenge came to be. So I have been active over on Instagram for a little over seven years. And shortly after I started my Instagram account, I began to do a pantry challenge every winter in January and February. It's called the Three Rivers Challenge. And lots of people started joining me and doing that. And we had a hashtag, the Three Rivers Challenge, and it just kind of became a thing. Um, so one year I decided, you know what, I've been doing this thing kind of personally in my life where I ch challenge myself to preserve something every day in the month of August. I should make that a challenge like I do the pantry challenge and see if anybody wants to join me because it's so much fun to do these challenges on social media where we can share ideas and just support one another. You know, you spend so much time doing the food preservation. It's just kind of fun to share it and get input from and ideas from other people. So I kind of threw it out there to one of my good friends on Instagram, Sarah from Living Traditions, and she actually came up with the words, every bit counts challenge. She thought that would be a good way to describe what I was trying to do. So all credit for that name goes to her. And I think this will be maybe the fifth year, um, fourth or fifth year that we've done this. I didn't start doing it here on YouTube until a year after I had already done it on Instagram. So I get kind of, <laughs> I can't remember how many years I've done it over here with you guys, but um, it's so much fun. So basically how this challenge came to be for many years, the way food preservation season worked is that I found myself kind of doing these massive preservation marathons on weekends. You guys know if you have a garden or you do food preservation that the month of August, at least here in my zone in Northwest Ohio, um, August is the month where it is on. Things are just coming in from the garden. All of this produce is available locally. And so it starts to kind of pile up in the kitchen. So I found that I was devoting just entire weekends to just doing these preservation marathons to get it done. And as time went on and my children began to grow, I just found that it wasn't sustainable to spend my entire weekends canning food. What was much more sustainable for me was just to find little pockets of time every day to get something done. So one day I might only have 15 minutes to do something. And so that's a good opportunity for me to just go grab a bunch of herbs from the garden and get them in the dehydrator or get them hung up to dry. And it's one thing I can check off the list of things that need to be done. And maybe the next day I have 30 minutes, which is a little more time. So that's a good day to say, oh, okay, I have a couple bowls of blackberries that we harvested that are sitting in the fridge that need something to be done with them to preserve them. In 30 minutes, I can get a batch of blackberry jam into the water bath canner and going. And then maybe the next day I have a more significant pocket of time. Maybe the schedule has just allowed me to have an hour and a half to do a really big pressure can project. And I find that if I do a little bit every day, it adds up to the same amount of time that I was spending, maybe like my entire Saturday that I was spending trying to do all of that work at one time. And as my kids get older and we get busier during the week, especially in the evenings, this is crucial to us because my husband works off the homestead. We only have evenings and weekends together. And as we get busy with activities and um, might not be home even throughout the week, every week night, 
makes those weekends even more precious. I don't want to spend my weekend canning all day long in the month of August. I want to spend that with my husband and my children while we're all home together as a family. And while it can be very fun to work on these canning projects and preservation projects all as a family, that isn't all we want to do in August, that last month of summer that we have together before school starts back up. So I just find that setting the goal to pre preserve something every single day is just an easier way for me to manage the month of August and the food preservation season. I find that if I do a little bit every day, it adds up. Every bit counts. And in the end, at the month of August, I have the same amount of food put up as I did when I would just do these marathons of canning, you know, in a couple days throughout the, like scattered throughout the month. But I have the same amount of food in a much more manageable way, a much less stressful way. So a couple other benefits to doing this challenge are there might be days throughout the month where I don't necessarily have something that needs to be done. I've already gone through all the bushels of produce. Um, there really isn't something that I'm ready to harvest from the garden and I don't want to leave the property to go buy something in bulk, but I have set the goal to do something every day. So it's a great opportunity for me to look around and just say, okay, well, what can I do today? Maybe I can go forage for something outside that would have been neglected if I didn't intentionally think about, you know, having to do something today. And so it's an opportunity to go harvest those wild plums um, and turn them into some jam that day or to go out and prune the basil just to get some pesto put up and into the freezer. It really keeps me motivated to just stay on top of things and get things done. And it really saves me a lot of stress. So as with kind of the way my pantry challenge was born, this food preservation challenge just kind of was born the same way. I mentioned to friends on social media, it started on Instagram first, that this is a challenge that I'm doing for myself. We gave it a name, the Every Bit Counts Challenge. I think this is something that could benefit people that are very busy and who struggle to manage everything that, that needs to get done through the preservation season. And so I'd love for you to join me um, and we can challenge each other and support and encourage one another. All you have to do if you want to participate is use the hashtag Every Bit Counts Challenge um, on any social media platform. So it started out on Instagram, it spread to YouTube in 2020, but there are also people who are active on Facebook or Twitter or even on their own personal blogs that like to participate and they use the same challenge name. And um, specifically, if you use it on Instagram and YouTube, because that's where I'm active and where I can see the level of participation, if you click on those hashtags, you can find posts and ideas from the past four to five years, thousands of posts of different accounts that are participating. And it's a really fun way to find other new accounts that you wouldn't find otherwise. Um, everybody that's participating and sharing their food preservation is using that hashtag. So if you're like, I would love to find other canners on YouTube, you can just hit that hashtag, look and scroll down and find thousands of videos to entertain you and to give you wonderful ideas. So we've created this beautiful community of food preservationists in on both social media platforms for your enjoyment. And also it's a great way if you have a YouTube channel or um, an Instagram account and you want to promote it so that other people can find you by using that hashtag, it's a great way to be found. So everybody benefits. I love it. I can't tell you how many fun food preservation ideas I have found through this challenge over the years. And sometimes you may look at the way somebody else is canning or preserving or drying something and you may say, hmm, well, I'm not going to do it that way, but this gave me a great idea for how I would do it, you know, here in my kitchen or with the equipment that I have available. And it's just fun. It's just this creative way to get your wheels turning, to look at the boxes of produce that you have in your kitchen and to do something with them. So I love it. And as I mentioned, these are my favorite videos that I put out every year. So I'm very excited to bring these to you. So if you're new here and you're just now hearing about this, but this is something you want to do to participate, um, there are really no specific rules. You can preserve food in whatever method you like to. That would include canning, either water bath canning, pressure canning, steam canning, drying food, either 
with a solar dehydrator, an electric dehydrator, a freeze dryer, or even just using the sun, sun dried items, um, freezing items, fermenting items. It could be as, um, as simple as just harvesting things from your garden that need to be cured and go into your root cellar. The whole idea though is to add something to your food storage every day in the month of August. Now, of course, everybody has different rules in their family. Some of you observe a Sabbath or another type of day of rest every um, week, whether it's on a Saturday or a Sunday. So you can still participate even if you're going to take a day off. Um, some people don't like to do any food preservation in the weekends, and they're just going to do it Monday through Friday. And that is fine, too. You don't have to literally do it every day if you don't want to. Um, and like I said, document what you're doing, share your methods and your recipes, use the hashtag, and you can post it to your accounts. I will be beginning, um, I'm actually going to begin a few days early so that I can have a full video of content for you that first um, Sunday in the month of August. And we'll be continuing through the rest of the month. In my first video that I put out, I'll also be talking to you a little bit at the end of that about my goals, which are different this year compared to... Uh, previous years, not only because my goals are changing in life because our life is changing, but I also want to have fresh content for you guys and not be preserving the same things in the same ways every year in my videos. So I'll be sharing more about what I'm going to be doing in next week's video. As for you, if you want to participate, what I suggest doing before the challenge starts is just taking stock of all of your food preservation equipment. I did that last week. I laid out all of my canning lids, all of my Ziploc bags, um, Mylar, oxygen absorbers, food saver bags, anything that I use to preserve food. I just kind of got it all out, took stock of how much I have and what I might need to purchase a little more of in order to be prepared to preserve something every day without running out of things and needing to make stops at the store. All right, guys, so that's it. If you want to get a little bit of inspiration here in the days leading up to the challenge, I encourage you to check out the hashtag and look at videos from the last four years or head to Instagram and check out the hashtag there um, and find all of the wonderful accounts that are participating. If you plan to participate, make sure you leave a comment down below. That's another great way that other people can find you and your account. Um, and I'm so excited. So my plan is for um, every Sunday in the month of August, I'll be bringing you a compilation video of everything that I preserved um, throughout that week. So the first video will probably only be maybe three or four days worth of preservation. But then from then on out, we'll have seven days of preservation in every video, hoping to give you lots of great ideas and ways to um, fill your pantry this year. On Instagram, my goal is to, in stories and in a reel every day, share what I'll be preserving. So you can find that information on both um, formats, both uh, social media platforms, and it's going to be a lot of fun. All right, guys, so <laughs> rest up in the next couple days. It's going to be a busy month, but it's going to be fun. We're going to be productive. We're going to fill our pantries, and we're going to work our way through everything that needs to get done in the garden. So, all right, until then, um, I hope you guys have a wonderful week. We will see you next week with lots of food preservation. Bye.